Today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add the sidebar widgetized areas to your Divi page and post layouts. So, the way it works is I've got this post blog post here, and it doesn't really matter necessarily where I am. If I want to add this to all my blog posts, I can use the theme builder, or if I want to use a specific page, I can just go to enable visual builder and design this area into a specific page. The process, once you have the builder, is all going to be the same. But I've got this post here, and it's just one single column of information and if i tab across i've got my appearance widgets open here and i've got this widget i've created using the block editor and i want to have this widgetized area appear in the sidebar of all my blog posts or maybe any other pages i decide to set up this sidebar for so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go down the left here to divi and theme builder and i'm going to open that in a new tab and because I'm wanting to change my blog posts, I've got a, a layout here for all posts. So if you are already editing a page, like if you need some more information on how to use the actual theme builder, I do have a playlist in the description below with a ton of videos on Divi. But essentially, you can go in and add a new layout by clicking here if you want to do that. But we're just going to be editing an existing blog post template by clicking the pencil. And now we have our template. As you can see, it looks fairly similar to what we were looking at before. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add in a column over here for my widgetized sidebar. So I'm gonna click on this column structure and I'm gonna add in, say, something thin like this on the, or maybe even a little thinner like this on the right-hand side. And now we have another column. All I'm gonna do is click the Add Module section, scroll down and look for Sidebar here. And now I have this widget area. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. For some reason, there we go. So we've got our, you can see already, we've got the sidebar starting to show up. It looks a bit funny, but that's just in the editor, so it's not a big deal. We can choose which widget area we want to go there. So we've got our normal sidebar. But even if I tab across to my widgetized area, I can even add in a custom widget area I can call it custom sidebar if I want to and add that in there as well. And you'll see we've got CTA here, which is one I have added recently. I can go ahead and delete that and I can add in these areas and they will show up under where it says content under here for me to choose from. I'm not going to go through that whole process. You've sort of, that's pretty much it. Uh, but you will have to refresh the builder if you add this afterwards. So, but we're just going to stick with the standard sidebar for now. And you see here our sidebar is now there. And we've got a little gray outline on the right there. Uh, a lot of people sort of will see that and want to get rid of it. So I'm going to go to my design tab, layout, and turn off the show border separator. And now our widgetized area is showing up on the right there. Now there's a few other things here. You can set up your, your usual settings. You can add a background image or color. If I want to make the sidebar sort of gray, I can do that. Um, you can style your column as we normally would in the Divi Builder, but essentially, We've got our sidebar and we can choose what sidebar area we want. So I'm pretty happy with that for now. I'm gonna come back and do a bit more in a bit, but I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna tab across and refresh our post. And now we have our sidebar and with a gray background as intended. So if I go across to my footer area and add in something else so maybe you want to add in latest posts or something or just find some kind of meta or something to add in there maybe we'll just add in their archives okay so we'll just update that so I've added this into my widgetized area and now if I refresh again our calendar now shows up there so that's pretty much it so now one thing you'll notice is this is all very close to the side here. So I can add in some padding and things like that as we normally would with some of our bits and pieces, but it will affect other widgets like this. But if I go to my sidebar, go to design, spacing, add in 10 pixels of padding. It will add padding in around my box, the box area there. But once again, if I save, tab across and refresh, you see we now have this padding here around the box and also a little bit around the text. So you've got a few areas there to play with in the design tab, add a little bit of space, but essentially 
you've pretty much got your sidebar good to go. Now, there's something else we can do on top of that. I'm gonna head back, tad across again. I am gonna get rid of this block, update it, tab across again. Because what I'm gonna do with this sidebar here is go to advanced and scroll effects. And what I can do is have this stick to the top. And I'm gonna tick and save that. And what that will actually do is allow me to go over to my post again and refresh. And as I scroll, the sidebar will now follow, which is another cool effect you can do with Divi quite easily, very handy, and it, it'll do the entire sidebar. So you might find that handy. You can also set other limits to it. So if I go back into advanced and scroll effects, I can actually, where it says stick to top, I can make the offset a certain amount. I can change like if I don't want it to go outside of this section I can make sure it doesn't go beyond that section and that way it doesn't scroll down into the footer I've got a few options but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn that off because maybe what you want to do is have your normal widgetized sidebar but add in another call to action even though we're going to have two call to actions for the sake of the video we'll quickly add one in we'll just give it a uh, say a blue background so it stands out and we're going to say sticky CTA and you know you can go through, set things up as you normally would with your call to action. And what I'm going to do, I've got this call to action, this blue one now. So I'm going to go back into the same section with the scroll effects, stick to top, and I'm going to limit this to the section and hit tick and save. So now when we actually tab across and refresh the blog post, we have this blue call to action. So we can have our entire sidebar and then add a nice little call to action at the end that goes and scrolls with. But because we've limited it to the section, it stops when it hits the bottom and keeps going from there. So that's just a cool little uh, trick you can do with your sidebar. It's very easy to set up, but um, I had some requests the other day, so I thought I'd quickly pop this video together. Otherwise, um, yeah, have a play with it. Play with the sidebar setting, play with the scroll effects if you want to try having a sticky sidebar. Otherwise, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Any questions, leave a comment below. Otherwise, if you liked the video, please consider giving it a like or subscribe for more if you want more Divi content. Also, check out the playlist. I've got a ton of Divi videos in the playlist in the description below that I'm trying to cover as much as I can about the Divi theme. So, uh, yeah, have a look. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.